Statistics tell us the importance of reading. About 32 million adults are illiterate. 85% of all the juveniles forced in to interact with the court system are illiterate. We need to be sure that all people can read. It's as simple as that. The Florida Writers Foundation provides books for schools that are in need. We provide grants to support teachers in the classroom who are trying to um, maybe uh, publish a little collection of poetry um, or a collection of short stories. We have a five-year commitment with one school. Uh, every year they publish a, a collection of stories. I want to sponsor some poetry slams because poetry slams are very popular even among people who are not avid readers. So I think if teenagers can write their own poems and then deliver them, it will help to give them confidence in speaking in front of a group and it will promote reading and writing of poetry, which I absolutely love. As writers, we can't be afraid to think outside the box. Diane Ochiltree, one of our Florida Writers Association members, goes into the schools with her dog, Sally. Sally is a trained therapy dog. And so when she goes in to read some of her books to students, she brings Sally. And that really helps to make her relatable. Those are some of the things that we do. Um, I spoke about speaking to a group of unwed uh, mothers. Another member of the Florida Writers Association helped that group to publish a book of poetry that those girls wrote. And they were very proud of it. When I was there, they were really trying to write their books, their poems, and they asked questions they were eager to learn. If we believe reading is important, and I do, then we must be sure that people can read. And who better to be able to show teens the fun that we can have with the book than the writer who poured over those words. I think if we want to sell our books, we have to be sure that the teenagers can read them.